Hello once again, clients, designers, and visitors alike. Here we are again with another How It's Made in the Graphic Design Industry at GoNink.com. Today we're going to talk about removing a background from an image, part one of a small two-part series. Many graphic design software programs out there that you can buy at retail outlets uh, will allow you to erase the background of an image, but really they're limited in their undo or correction abilities. Now with Adobe Photoshop and what is called a mask tool, we can actually remove a background and then correct any mistakes we made an infinite number of times. Now there are a couple different ways that you can use mask and I'm just going to show you my preferred method which is add a layer mask. This is found at the bottom of the layers palette. It's the second icon in. Let's just go ahead and start off with this image of this H3 Hummer. And what we're going to do is we're going to isolate the Hummer and then we're going to replace the background with something else uh, in part two. Maybe we'll put it on a beach or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the add a layer mask tool. Now you'll see what happens here is it creates this extra little box with this link. This box is our actual mask. You'll see that I have our brush tool selected over here in the tools palette. And down here in our colors palette I already have it black and white. Now this is significant because what happens is, is when the primary color is selected, as in this case the black is selected, this creates the actual mask. Whereas if you have the white as the primary color, that will remove the mask. So let's just show you, uh, go ahead and show you what I mean here. So I have the black as the primary. We have our brush tool. And we just start dragging around here. And looky there. The background has been removed. And like I said before, the basic retail programs you can buy will do the same thing. But what many of them don't allow you to do is bring the background right back to where you had it from the start. There you go. That's pretty simple. Now, let's say you have a pretty large image here, and you really don't want to drag this brush. I mean, if you're dragging this brush all over the place trying to get rid of all this, that's going to take some time. So if we go over to our Tools palette, and we select the Marquee tool, this Lasso tool, and let's just do some dragging around this image. And I do want to mention real quick, if this is the first time you're ever going to try and use a layer mask, try and practice on images like vehicles or houses or something that has sharp lines. Um, starting off with people and hair or feathers or fur on animals, it can get extremely difficult. You really have to get in there and spend a lot of time taking care of uh, the background you want to remove. So there we have a big selection, and if we hit Alt, Alt Backspace on our PC, voila, there goes a big old portion of our background, and then we take our brush tool and just refine it up a little bit. Now, of course, these little edges around the Hummer, it looks all right, but we want to get rid of all that. So if we zoom in on our image here, and again, select our lasso tool, and what's great about this vehicle is that since it has such sharp lines, we can really get in tight and make this look fantastic. So we'll drag up here, and come across, and let's just go ahead and take care of this part of the image, and then uh, we'll see what we've got. And that's that. Alt backspace, deselect, and as you can see, the image, the background part of the image is starting to disappear. So basically, that's uh, what we're going to start off with. And again, I'll get this refined. And for part two, we'll show you how we put a background in here and make the image just pop. So again, thanks for stopping by, and come back soon for another installment of Gonink: How It's Made.